senior students are going to uh, play around a little bit today uh, with the trommel here, but I thought a lot of interest. You guys want to see the trommel and see what it is? This machine is called a trommel. Now, actually, the only part of it that is a trommel is this tube. That tube, the trommel, is a... Don't be that guy, Tom. ...is a glorified classifier. It's uh, basically all the trommel does is it sits out the big rocks and it tumbles them around to knock off any uh, gold that might be attached to it. So the trommel part of this, the, the tube, is just got, if you look inside of it, you'll, and you can in a minute, you'll see that it's just a grate inside that has about half inch holes, that the material flowing down will fall through those holes, I think smaller than a half inch, anything bigger than a half inch will stay in the center tube, fall all the way out and drop into the bucket here. The rest of the machine, uh, there's the sluice down below that all the material falls in with the water and the sluice actually catches the gold. So really, when you talk about a trommel, most people mean the whole machine. But in essence, it's really just the tube is the trommel. Trommel, sluice, hopper, the engine for running the thing, the water pump on this one is attached right to the whole thing. And we've got it recirculating in one of the big bins. Typically, if you're out in the field, you would just have this uh, dumping into a big uh, settling pond. As the trommel is running, the tube spins. The trommel itself spins, and it tumbles the rocks all the way down. And that way, if there's any gold attached to rocks, or if there's any clay that's in there, it gets broken up, split off those rocks, and the rocks that come out are fairly clean of dirt. All the dirt is falling down out of this outer tube into the sluice box, running over the rifles. The rifles are separating out the heavies from the lights. The lights are flowing away. The heavies are staying down in the grid, on the grid. The rifles, the ridges that are in there. So I'm going to run it for a few minutes. I can't really talk when it's running because it's really loud. I'm going to run it and shovel some stuff through so you can watch it in action. Please don't touch anything. There are moving parts all around this thing. So stand back and look at it. But one thing you might want to do is you might want to look up the trommel tool, too, because you'll see there's sprayers inside spraying with water. You might want to look in the hopper to see what kind of water is being sprayed up there in the hopper. All right, let's get this thing going. will be in those rifles, yeah. In, in here, it gets caught up as it goes over each of these little waterfalls and each of these little ribs, it gets caught up in between them, and that's where it settles down inside here. Have you ever found gold in here? Oh yeah, yeah, this, this is a great way to catch gold. It's just a little bit big of a machine for taking out in a short period of time, but it's a great way to catch gold. You guys want to run this for the rest of the period and see what you find? Perfect.
you have to make sure you're careful of the transfer that you're not dropping stuff along the way because that this is the good stuff now in here. Yeah. I just take the whole sluice over, put it up on end, let it all run out. Yeah. Grab the bucket and uh, slosh some water down it. sand in there. For the, both of those big buckets, that's probably the equivalent of about 40, 40 or 50 pans full of gravel. So I got about 40 or 50 pans full of black sand here. 
so is there going to be a lot of gold? I mean, we can hope. I bet there's enough. Mm -hmm. Enough for us to actually get an idea of what's in here. Let's, let's have a look. I see some galena. These white things, those are nuggets of galena. They're, if we break them open, here, you take that and break that open into, no. into your pan, you can see the glitters inside it afterwards. That's over. Oh, I see some gold. Two, three pieces over there. That's cool. Yeah, the gold from this area is very red because it's sort of coated in rust. So there's two nice big flakes. Oops. No nugs, no nugs. Let's see what else is in there. Oh, another one. Okay, looks like we got two good sized flakes and a couple little ones. My hands are really hot. Okay, so this is uh, the three different runs those guys did out there on the trommel all together in one. This is probably uh, three good sized buckets of the good material up from one of my claims. I'll show you guys what is in there. You will see a bunch of white rocks that are down in the very, very bottom of the black sands. And those are little uh, nuggets of either galena or molybdenum. I'm not quite sure. It's quite blue when you open it up, so it's probably it could be molly, molybdenum. Is there bleach in this? There's a little bit of bleach in this water just to keep the bugs mm -hmm. from forming in there. Yeah, just a tiny amount though. Okay, right, let's see what's in here. Bring it down to the bottom corner. Okay, see these white rocks? Those are all those uh, nuggets of galena. If someone wants to take one of those and crush it up, uh, take it into the mortar and pestle there and crush it up, it turns to this blue glittery stuff. Should we wash it out first? The mortar and pestle? Yeah, you'd want to wash out it, whatever, whatever's in there. Whatever. Anyone see any gold yet? Oh, I see yeah. some gold. Oh, yeah. A big old piece. A big old piece. Anyone want a nugget of the galena? Yes, sir. You can go play with that, crush it down, see what it looks like, throw it in a pan. Is that a nugget? That is. Oh. Two nugs. Oh, look at that. There's a piece over there, I too. Oh, that. Holy. You guys get to keep that? <laughs> no, but I got something special for them. That's Bringing nice. the heavy stuff over to the one side there. See a couple of good nuggets. A couple of pieces. A couple of nice size flakes. Another one coming out over there. That, yep. That's gold. That's gold. Uh, there's some. There's two different types of gold in this area. Some of it's very red and rusted, and some of it's bright yellow. Two different deposits from this mine, and you can really tell the two apart. Night and day difference. What else, what's over here? See if I missed any over on this side. A couple little pieces. Not much over there. So some nice gold. Wow.